Hello folks. Well, for the longest time, I've watched this old windmill that my father-in-law made over 75 years ago. I've had to remodel it several times in the past because the bush bearing wore out and it's because it's so windy here. So it's pretty windy today and uh, now is the exception because the wind is blowing up to 35 mile per hour with a temp at 31 degrees and this is only April 13th. But typically the wind is 8 to 12 mile per hour daily. So I always wanted to make a wind generator out of this, add an LED for the night. So because it's so windy today I thought about it enough, came up with an idea and a plan and began the project. So I had this old Groppner 6 volt DC brush motor with a gear reduction on it and thought I would try to make that work. So for those that you don't know, a DC brush motor, if spun by a motor, or in this case a fan blade, it will produce electricity. So therefore, the motor now becomes a generator. So I took my small battery power drill just to find out if it was producing enough electricity to light an LED. This drill turns really slow, about 100 RPM, but I was able to find out which terminal was plus and minus and hooked it up to the LED. Well, then I spun my Dremel modal tool on position 2 and it easily pumped out 4 volts at about 1200 RPM and this lit the LED quite nicely. Now this LED is not going to light up with less than 3 volts, so unless the blade was turning too slow it would not be lit or very bright. So I hooked it all up by connecting the prop shaft to the gear drive with a piece of nylon tubing which threaded on both ends perfectly and it was flexible as well. So as you can see from this, uh, I ran the LED directly to the motor and it wasn't real windy later tonight and that light went out. So to keep the unit lit, I devised a circuit to add a small single cell LiPo battery to the unit so the battery could get a charge on windy days. You might note this is how solar garden lights work. The solar cell charges the battery and the battery runs the LED light. So in my case, my wind generator motor charges the battery and the battery runs the LED. But there was a little problem and that is in order to charge the battery without the battery trying to run the motor and the LED at the same time, I added a simple diode to the plus side of the motor terminal as you can see in the drawings. You see diodes work like one-way valves. They only allow the electricity or current to flow in one direction. So by adding the diode to my circuit, the battery voltage cannot enter the motor but the motor's electricity can actually flow back to the battery, thus charging it. So in operation, I measured about a 20 milliamp charge at 4 volts at 10 mile an hour wind, which goes up as the wind increases and vice versa. It looks like the current draw of the LED is just a bit less than the charge rate, so it keeps going and going. If the wind does ever stop, I can easily unplug the battery to prevent it from being discharged below 3 volts, which will render it useless as with all LiPo batteries. So in the future I might add a solar cell light controller to shut off in the daylight and then turn on at night, but we'll see. By the way, a wind speed indicator also works the same way. The propeller turns a motor and it's calibrated to read out on a digital reading your wind. So I let the LED run all day beginning about 10 o'clock in the morning and by dark it was still glowing very bright as you can see. So it looks like the battery's getting enough charge to stay going. So anyway, I did this just for fun since it is too cold and windy to fly and maybe this would make a good science project if kids ever get back to school. So thanks a lot for watching, stay well and God bless. This is Dave Herbert, the Night Flyer, signing off for now.